I wanted to give you a quick tour of the landscape template file that I'm really intending just for visualization, not so much for generating any new material or content, but a way to see what your height map is going to look like with a kind of rough idea for your textures as well. So when you open it up, you might be in the layout tab or the shading tab, but most likely you're going to be in the shaded mode. You can switch over to viewport shading material preview, and you can see we have some textures applied to this landscape. I've also got an HDRI creating light and shadows in the scene to cast on our landscape. And if we click on the landscape itself, we have the ability to change out um, a few settings on our terrains. So if I zoom in here, I've got a tiling node for our low grass texture. Okay, and you can see I can change kind of how large that texture can get or how small it can get. Then we're also able to change out the texture itself. And same down here, we've got high grass tiling. We can change out the texture. We've got our cliff tiling. And we can change out the texture. And we've also got our dirt tiling. And we can change out that texture as well. To change out the height map texture, we're going to go over here to our texture properties in our properties panel. And then we're going to have two things we need to do. We need to hover where it says unpack image, click on that, remove pack, and we're going to look for our height map. And not much is going to change yet. We need to come over here and also change this with this folder icon to the same texture we just selected. Give it a second and it should reprocess and your new height map has become a landscape with textures automatically populated across it. We have a similar process for swapping out your texture files for changing your terrains. So you'll need to click this X and click open and go look for the files you're interested in. Okay, we can come back in here and maybe adjust our tiling. There's going to be pretty clear repetitions despite our edge blending that we've done. When we work with this in Unreal, there's different math that can be done to eliminate that kind of apparent tiling. But what I'm hoping you can get out of this is a clear preview for the kind of relationships of color and contrast. If it's looking kind of dark in the viewport, if your computer feels like it can handle it, go ahead and check viewport shading rendered. And we've got a sun lamp built into this that will show up in the rendering mode. And we can come in here and get a better view now and change our tiling of some other things. So that's the template. If you find that you import a height map and it's quite flat, I recommend you go back into Quixel Mixer and adjust your project file until you get a full range from one texture to the, to the other. This is separated by slope and height kind of automatically. So you don't need to produce anything with this project file, but what you can do is, you know, save it for your own purposes and you can come back and all of your own texture files and height maps will be loaded up.